I'm Ian Howley. I'm the Chief Executive of LGBT Hero, the national health and wellbeing charity that supports over 100,000 LGBTQ plus people a month. Um, I always get asked, why is suicide prevention such a big thing for me? Um, well, I mean, it stems from my own journey as a teenager. Um, I nearly lost my life three times to suicide and it, a lot of it stemmed from my sexuality. Uh, accepting my sexuality was the first step to survival and it was a long process. I mean, probably another five, six years after my last suicide attempt before I actually got to a point where I was comfortable with myself. But the journey started when I accepted myself and where I knew it was finally over was when I started to talk about it. Uh, when I started to talk to my friends and family uh, about what I went through as a teenager and all those hid hidden battles, that's when I felt a, a weight had been lifted off my shoulders and that I could actually finally put it to bed and leave that in the past. I'm often asked, what are the current barriers to LGBTQ plus people getting support? I mean, there's, there's tons of barriers, access to care, access to support, access to people who understand what we go through as LGBTQ plus people. The main thing that is, is affecting us is actually stigma. And the reason why it's such a big issue is because we as LGBTQ plus people are actually quite familiar with suicide. We don't really talk about it anymore. We don't really actually have deep, meaningful conversations. It's like suicide is just one thing that's part of our community that, you know, if some of us are lucky to survive, then fantastic. But if others don't, it's sad. And I just think that that's not acceptable. I think we as a community need to really have deep, meaningful conversations about what suicide is like for us, about what our journeys are like, and the fact that we all have similar journeys in some shape or form, whether you have attempted to take your own life or whether you've just thought about taking your own life at some point in your life. But that's, that's where our connectivity actually brings us together. And we're not talking about that. We're not talking to each other about our journeys. And until we break down stigma associated with these issues, then we're never actually going to make any inroads into how we tackle suicide in our community. I understand that talking about suicide is really difficult. Nobody really knows what to do or say because we haven't been taught about how to listen to each other about our conversations. When somebody comes up to you and says, Hi, I'm feeling suicidal, you go into panic mode because you're thinking, what do I say? How do I say it? How do I give support? You don't know how to do it. So you're less likely to be able to bring this up and feel secure about talking about suicide. This is where we have to start making conversations and having these conversations about how do we listen to each other? How do we support one another? How do we make sure that we're not just statistics? that every LGBTQ plus person out there has the chance to survive and thrive in a society that is not set up for them. How do we do that? And the only way we do it is by you and I saying, hey, we have a problem and we need to fix it. The biggest thing that we can do right now is start leading a conversation around how we as a community can better support our communities. Our power as a charity is to send conversations where it makes people feel a little bit uneasy sometimes and I know it's difficult and I get it I know it's difficult to talk about suicide it really is I am a suicide survivor and I still find it a little bit difficult from time to time the only way that we're going to get over this is by being honest you need to be honest I need to be honest everybody around us needs to be honest we all need to be honest about our own personal journeys our journeys as a community we need to be having those conversations with ourselves with our friends with our family uh, as, a, as a community overall, we need to come up with a plan, a plan of how to overcome this because the power is in our hands. We can come together and have these conversations and figure out how we, how we don't let anybody have to go through what we went through. It still makes me sad when I hear another person from our community has been lost to it because I feel that 
if only we could do more. And to me, I think enough, enough. We have to, we have to be better. And what I'd like you to do is to get involved, support LGBT Heroes, support all those other charities that are doing fantastic work around suicide prevention, but start having those conversations with your friends, with your family, online. Let's, let's not gloss over this anymore because there's only one way we're going to solve this issue and it's by talking. For more information about our suicide prevention work, you can go to www.lgbthero.org.uk forward slash suicide.